will be the ninth and final sprinter to load for the Betfred Supports Jetbury House handicap over five. And now the sprinters are in the gate. Just waiting on locking the back gate for intense style. That's it, set. And they're off. Racing over five furlongs, taken back at the break. Sydney Rough Diamond going to be played late. Outpaced Marmalady in the early stages. They fly through the first furlong, and it's Normal Equilibrium who is setting the pace. Monumental Man giving chase alongside Zach Brown. Those three have already gone a couple of lengths clear of Wasim Farris. Right over on the far left wing is Staker Claim. He's been followed into the race by Sydney Rough Diamond. Harry Hurricane working towards the near side. Just gave a bump to Intense Smile, and still the back marker is Marmalady, two furlongs to go and normal equilibrium has now been joined the pace now is coming over on the far side Wasim Farris has now come through to poke his head in front, very wide stake acclaim to the near side, Harry Hurricane now begins to stay on, over on the far side, Sydney Rough Diamond 2, they're inside the final furlong, Harry Hurricane now being chased home by Marmalady Wasim Farris is isolated to the far side, it is Harry Hurricane and Steve Drown who just have the lead but here comes Marmalady and from last to first Marmalady wins for Ted Durkin. Marmalady beat Harry Hurricane into second, followed by Wasim Farris and Intense Style. First, number eight, uh, Marmalady. Second, number one. Third, number six. And the fourth place horse, number two. The full result of the Betfred supports Chuck Berry House handicap stakes. First, number eight, Marmalady. Second, number one, Harry Hurricane. Third, number six, Wasim Farris. And fourth, number two, Intense Style.